Today, I'm going to show you how to change the text of your edit link in your emails. So follow me to my desktop right now. Welcome to JotForm. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to change the text of your edit link in your forms. That way, it's easier for you to find it when you receive a notification of a submission and you can go ahead and edit it. Or if you plan to add this link to the notifications of the people who filled out the form, that way they can edit their own form in case they need to update it. So let me show you how to do this. This is my job form dashboard and we're going to get ahead and get started with a new form. So we'll start a new form from scratch, classic form. We'll do something simple. Just add a few elements just for testing purposes. Okay, there we go. And where are we going to edit this link? Well, we're going to head on over to settings, emails, and we have two types of emails for, by default. The notification email, that means that when someone submits a form, we get a notification, the owner of the job form account. And the autoresponder is the email that the user who fills out the form is going to receive the email. So that way we can also add that edit link to them. But first, let's start by editing our notification one. So let's go ahead and click on the pencil. And we're going to scroll down here on the editor. And on the bottom, we're able to see this default variable. By default, it has a ver this variable that's tied to the form. That way, it's automatically added there. But what if we want to change the text of this link? So we can go ahead and remove all of this. And we're going to add a new link. So we'll go ahead and click on this link right here. Insert edit link. And it's going to ask us for the URL. The URL that you're going to use is this one right here, okay? So this is the one we're gonna use and it's going to use the variable from the ID. So each time that someone fills out the form, it has a unique ID that's gonna be tied to that form. And text to display, well, we don't want to display the link. We want to display a clear message of what this is for, like where is this thing going to take us? So we're going to remove this and we're gonna add something more simple. For example, update update form submission. Okay, we're going to click OK. And we've added the text right here. So this text is a link that if we click on it, it's going to edit the link that was submitted. So if by for any reason, we receive an email of a submission, and the user or you want to go ahead and edit it and update it, you're going to do it with this link that you're going to receive in the email. Now it's super easy. Now before you head on out of here, don't forget to go ahead and save it. So now it's saved and it should be there. And there we go. We have that there. Now, what if we want to give this possibility to the user who submits the form because they might want to edit that form or you want to give that ability to them because maybe it's for a concert tickets and they want to change how many people are going to go or they need to update the date or for, for any reason you want to give them that ability to update the form. Well, we're going to add it here in the autoresponder. So again, we're going to click on the pencil and we're going to add it down here. Let's go ahead and center this. And again, we're going to click on the insert edit link and we're going to use the same link that we've just created. Okay. And again, it's going to add the variable of the particular form that that user filled out. So it's going to be unique to them. We're going to go ahead and update here. So it's not going to say the link. We're going to add text to this. So we're going to say update form submitted. There we go. And let's go ahead and okay this. And there we go. The user is going to receive the form and they're going to be able to update it once they fill it out with the new data. And again, don't forget to go ahead and save this. And there we go. Let's go ahead and make a test. So let's go into go ahead and go into publish, open a new tab. So this is a brand new form, just basic form. We're going to say Jorge Aguilar and I'm going to add secondary email that I have and I'm going to submit it. So in this case, I'm going to receive that notification email. Let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, here's the email that I've just received notifying me that I filled out this form. And just in case that when I receive this email and I see some of the data that's wrong, well, I have the option to go ahead and edit this. If I don't add this link, I don't have that option. So I'm going to click on update form submission. And you can see it's pre-filled out with that data. So if I need to change something, so instead of Jorge, I'll change it up to George. Let's go ahead and submit it. And there we go. I just updated this. Now, let's see if the update took effect in the job form tables. So let's go into job form. Let's go into the main panel. And this is the form that we've just created. Let's click on more. Let's go into submissions. And here we go. 
We filled it out first with Jorge Aguilar, which is the Spanish variable of my name. And then I updated it to the English variable of my name, which is George Aguilar. And it was updated right here because I gave him that link to change it, to update it actually. But there you go. That is how you're going to change the text on the edit link on your email notifications. I thank you all for watching and I'll see you on my next tutorials.